super easy, lazy vegan dessert. So freaking good. Starting the vlog today with an emergency. Well, what I call an emergency. There is no chocolate in the house. This is not a drill, there is no chocolate in the house. There's like one of these in here and that's not gonna do it for me today. We have the Oreos over here and those are vegan. However, let me tell you about Oreos. Thing with Oreos is that um, I always start with one and then I eat two and then three and, and then it's not until I'm washing the blood off my hands that I realize that the entire pack is gone. It's not pretty. So I'm thinking today that might not be the best choice. I try not to even keep them in the house too often because I know that that's a problem. So not thinking that's gonna be making for a very productive afternoon. So instead what we're gonna do, and I figured I'd bring you guys along in case you find yourself in this very disturbing emergency that we all find ourselves in every once in a while. And I'm making my favorite lazy vegan dessert and that is chocolate bark. This is like super easy to make requires very little baking. We're only gonna turn on the oven for like five minutes. And uh, yeah, it's the kind of stuff that I need this afternoon for a little pick me up before I get back to work. Are you ready? Let's do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is just toast some nuts. So I have some different kinds of nuts here laying around. I have pecans, I have walnuts, and I have some uh, hazelnuts as well. So I'm just going to, if you don't have them crushed already, like put them in a Ziploc bag and just like slam them with a rolling pin so you get them crushed and i'm just gonna lay them out on this pan and we're gonna put them in the oven for like five minutes just to get the oils out and really like get it toasted because that really helps it bring out that nutty flavor you don't have to do it but it's like a game changer and it's really such a small step it's gonna make the flavors really shine so totally worth doing i'm not even gonna measure anything out like this is super informal like as many as you want So the oven's preheating at 350, and like I said, we're just gonna put it in for five minutes, and that should be enough for it to just get a little toasty, get those oils out, and really get that nutty flavor out. Now while those toast, let's look at the pantry over here and see what other toppings there are. And this is almonds. Ooh, dried cherries. That could actually work. Um, then we have crystallized ginger. I guess it could work. Um, sprinkles, not really feeling the sprinkles. Marshmallows, I'm not a huge fan of. Biscoff, hmm, you guys know I love Biscoff. Maybe I could crush some pieces in there. <laughs> nuts are toasted it's time for the chocolate uh, like I said I didn't even measure anything I just put some chocolate chips in here vegan obviously and we're just gonna put it in the microwave for like a minute get it nice and melted we might need a little more than one minute but let's just start with one minute better than to burn it so let's do that okay let's see here the bottom is melted, but there's still a lot of like whole chocolate chips in there. So back in the microwave you go, mister. Now we're fully melted and we're about ready to pour. So we have another pan. I'm gonna line this with parchment paper. Otherwise, no one wants to do that cleaning afterwards. Okay, and now we're gonna sprinkle those nuts in the toppings. So I ended up choosing the dried cherries, but really like what's beautiful and about this lazy vegan dessert is that you can add whatever. Like if I wanted to do like a s'mores thing, I could have added some crackers and some marshmallows. Or if I wanted to do just a nuts thing, I could just do the nuts. If I wanted to do the ginger and chocolate, orange zest, like literally whatever you have lying around, you can use it. Like if you don't even wanna go through the step of toasting the nuts, skip the nuts, do something else, do little pieces of cookies. Like 
If I wanted to use the Oreos even, I could have just crushed those into pieces and laid that out as a base. So whatever you got, throw it in there. It all works. So it's going to, oh. okay. Toasted nuts. And then we're gonna do the dried cherries. Just sprinkle that and make sure they're like flat against the bottom and that they're evenly distributed. Beautiful. Next up is pouring the chocolate. Okay, first of all, how awfully brave of me to try to do this with a white shirt. I'm amazed I didn't get any chocolate on it. Bonus points for me. Now this goes into the fridge so that it can set and it really should take no more than 20 minutes for it to be ready to be cut and eaten. 20 minutes later, we're ready to come out. So, we're all ready to cut over here. Now, you could do this with a knife. I'm actually gonna use a bench scraper because I think it's more stable than a knife. Here it is. And then you're just gonna cut out random shapes. like. And there you go. Super easy, lazy vegan dessert. So freaking good. And now, once you cut it into pieces, just keep this in the fridge, and then you just take out slices whenever you feel like a little chocolatey vegan fix. So, I hope you like this recipe. Mm -hmm.